Okay, so there were some questions on 7.2. So I just wanted to go over some of these problems. So I'm going to start with 7.2 number 14. That was one of the questions that was sent to me. If you want to pause the video and open your MyLabs Plus 7.2 number 14, you can follow along. The problem says the mean incubation time for a type of fertilized egg kept at a certain temperature is 22 days. Suppose that the incubation times are approximately normally distributed with a standard deviation of two days. Complete parts A through E below. So part A says draw a normal model that describes egg incubation times of these fertilized eggs. Okay, so what we know is we know that the mean incubation time is 22 days. So I have my normal curve here. I know when I have a normal curve, the middle value needs to be the mean. So that's gonna be my 22. And then the standard deviation is two days. So if we think back to how the normal curve is divided up, that means that I'm going to have below the mean, I'll have my 20, then 18, then 16, and then above the 22, I'll have 24, 26, and 28. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the graph that matches this. So I click to see the graph and I want the one with 22 in the center and then counting out by twos. And for me, it actually happened to be the first option. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Well done. Okay, now part B says find and interpret the probability that a randomly selected fertilized egg hatches in less than 18 days. So less than 18 days um, is going to be this part of the graph. So to the left of 18, that's what the less than is going to be. And so what I want to do is open up my normal calculator because I know I have a normal distribution. So I'm going to go to question help, stat crunch. Okay, cleared my drawings. And now in StatCrunch, I'm going to go to Stat, Calculators, and Normal. Okay, so let me adjust this so I can see my normal calculator and the problem that I'm working on. Okay, so I am told that the mean is 22, so I'm gonna type a 22 in. My standard deviation is two. And I want the probability that the egg hatches in less than 18 days. So I'm gonna do less, x is less than or equal to 18. So the probability that I have is right here. Okay, so right here, 0 0.0228, there we go. So 0 0.0228, perfect. Now the problem says interpret this probability, select the correct choice below and fill in the answer box to complete your choice. In every group of 100 fertilized eggs, blank eggs would be expected to hatch in less than 18 days. Option B, if 100 fertilized eggs were randomly selected, exactly blank would be expected to hatch on day 18. So here is the problem with that. 
the problem with this one, part B, is that word exactly. With probabilities, we are never ever finding an exact value. We are finding a probability, what will probably happen or what we expect to happen. So never select the one that says exactly. So um, option B is out. Option C says if 100 fertilized eggs were randomly selected, blank of them would be expected to hatch in less than 18 days. So this one is going to be our, op our option that is correct because it says randomly selected. So if 100 fertilized eggs were randomly selected, blank of them would be expected to hatch in 18 days. The reason I'm not doing every group is because an expected value doesn't really have to do with every single group. So that's why I'm throwing out option A. So to get that number that I want to put in the answer box here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my probability from before, 0 0.0228, and I'm going to multiply by 100 because I'm doing 100 fertilized eggs. So grab your calculator, I'm grabbing mine, or you can just move the decimal place over, that would work just as well. 0 0.0228 times 100, and we get 2.28. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the mouse option and put in 2.28. They say round to the nearest integer as needed. Okay, so instead of 2.28, I'm going to try putting in just a 2. Perfect. Okay. So now, part C, find and interpret the probability that a randomly selected fertilized egg takes over 26 days to hatch. So over 26 days means greater than or equal to 26. So come back over to your um, normal calculator, select the greater than or equal to 26. So that's going to be over 26 days. And I get the probability um, right over here, 0 0.0228. Interesting, it's the same one because of the um, sy symmetry of the normal curve. Okay, so now same options interpret, and we want if 100 fertilized eggs were randomly selected, blank of them would be expected to take more than 26 days. So it, it's going to be the same since my probability was the same as in part B. So I'll put in a 2, just like for part B. Part D, find and interpret the probability that a randomly selected fertilized egg hatches between 20 and 22 days. So I'm going to go in my normal calculator, click on between. I'll put in 20 as my lower bound, 22 as my upper bound, and I get my probability 0 0.3413. Didn't click. 0.3413. Good. Now, same interpretation. Um, if 100 fertilized eggs were randomly selected, blank of them would be expected. So it's option B for me. Multiply the 0 0.3413 by 100, and I get 34.13, but it says round to the nearest integer. So I'm going to put in 34. And then last part of the problem, would it be unusual for an egg to hatch in less than 16 days? So I'm going to go back to my normal calculator, put in less than or equal to 16, and I get the probability is 0 0.0013. So it is, oh, it would, 
be unusual since the probability is less than 0 0.05. Okay, so we can do some more in, um, in other videos, but that is question 14 from 7.2.